These spray delphinium are called sunshine and they are just spectacular. Sunshine delphinium. Who knew that you could have spray delphinium this beautiful? I, uh, I want all the sunshine I can get all the time. On this episode of Intrigue Teaches, we are playing with this gorgeous spray delphinium. And I went ahead and I've already trimmed the stem. So we, the sprays come like this and sometimes they'll have doubles, sometimes they'll have triples, sometimes they'll have buds. And what I did is I just clipped them down. I separate, separated the little buds, which are over here, from the blooms. And we are gonna make a very, very simple, very quick hand tied. This is great if your bride wants a little bitty bouquet. It's also great if, for bridesmaids or mothers. I wanna make sure that it's really airy and soft. So it's gonna go very, very quick. And we're gonna do this as a spiral. I've got my little pieces and we're just gonna cross over and cross over. And then I'm gonna work in some of these buds. See that little playfulness? And I'm gonna cross over again. This is gonna be a little tiny, tiny bouquet uh, that I have lots of air and play in. You know, the designs have definitely changed over the years. And right now this looseness is everything. So I'm just crossing over my stems. And then every so often I'm gonna take one of my buds. The buds are just as valuable in this process as the bloom itself is. So don't toss those and, and send them away. Really use them to their maximum benefit. Here we go, I'm crossing over, weaving in my little blooms, my little buds. Wanna make sure it goes all the way around. Oh, this is the one I was looking for. Here we go. This has a little bit of height to it. I wanna add some height on this side. And just like when I'm making the centerpieces for this bouquet, I wanna make sure I have a good play of in and out of momentum and movement. I'm gonna move some of these stems down a bit, some of them up. This one little baby, look at this little baby, so cute. Pop them right here. And now I've got the rest of these buds. And again, it's about 15 stems. I'm gonna add these buds to the outside and I'm gonna add them all in here. Just one at a time, spiraling them right around. And we're gonna have this very simple, very airy, looks like it was just plucked up from the garden. You know, so often brides and grooms, they ask for these bouquets that it looked like they just got picked at a local farmer's garden. And I have to say, they is often some of the hardest designs because that natural element, when you are trained to do things a specific way, getting that natural element can be very, very challenging. So using this spiral and and using these, these spray delphinium is a really way to kind of trick your mind so that you can create that aesthetic. And just because our couples often want that, just looks like it was picked from the garden, they still do want an element of design in there. They don't really want you to just pull some flowers together, slap some tape on it and throw it in a vase. They want your artistic hand and your artistic eye. Oh, this is so darn cute. All right, sometimes I make a bouquet and I don't wanna give it away. I just wanna keep it forever. Almost done, just have a couple more, and we have used every piece of this. Look at that, 15 stems of our delphinium trick. Uh, if you don't know about these, they are bred by Ball, who's a specialty flower seed breeder. Uh, and uh, if you want them, you have to tell your wholesaler because they're not currently on the market. Look at this, isn't that the sweetest little thing? All right, I'm gonna give the stems a little bit of a cut. I'm not worried about it being a perfect spiral and being able to stand on its own right now, uh, even though my spiral is perfect. Uh, but that's not what's important to me. I just wanna get the stems so they're short enough to make a traditional bouquet. I'm gonna take my piece of bind it that I've gone ahead and pre-cut. It's about an inch and a half of bind it. And very simply, I'm just gonna wrap that around. 
my bouquet so that all these blooms stay in place. And like with the larger bouquets, I'm gonna make sure I wrap it tight, but not so tight that it's gonna strangle my flowers. The delphinium stems, they are soft. Uh, they're not as hard as, say, a rose stem, so you have to be a little more careful with them. Oh my gosh, look at that. Isn't that just the sweetest little, can you just imagine walking down the aisle? It is, it is perfection. This might be the favorite bouquet I ever made. It is so simple. So all you want to do at this point, you're going to add a little, maybe a little burlap, a little ribbon, and you can call it a day. So there you have it, a very simple 15 stem delphinium trick bouquet.